Alright, so hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video, and Baraka Chira has come once again and on PCs on the Strata Relay on Earth. Now, the new item this time around is the Blue Kid Tier Safari K Drive Scroll, which is just a cosmetic for like the underside of your K Drive. Moving on from there, we have some rare mods, starting off with the Scort, which is a heat based dual stat mod for pistols, which gives you 60% heat and 60% status, and then we have pretty much the same thing but for melee, which is Volcanic Edge. Then he also brought the Fanged Fusillade mod, which gives you 120% bonus slash damage on rifles, and finally, we have Vermilion Storm, which is a somewhat rare stance for claws. This used to be worth buying but now you can just farm it in game. Now after that we have the Ampu staff skin which is a decent enough looking skin for staves and yeah that's pretty much it it's just kind of like a barrow themed staff skin though the one thing about this is that the skin is pretty big so it looks really cool when you're twirling it around. After that we have the Twin Grakata Stausan skin and I will say the same thing I always say about this one I'm not a massive fan of this skin but I like what it does because it makes the Grakatas look brand new even though it kind of makes them look like they're made of play-doh. Up next we have some weaponry starting off with the Prisma Grenlock, which is one of my personal favorite weapons. It's a lever action rifle that does primarily slash, though it also has a decent amount of impact. It has great crit, great crit multi, and awesome status. And the second weapon on the menu today are the Prisma Dual Cleavers, which is kind of like a template for a good melee weapon. Decently fast, they have great crit, amazing crit multi, good status, and they do primarily slash. Then he once again brought a full set of the Prisma Deados armor, so the chest plates, the knee plate, as well as the shoulder plates, and this is just a great looking set of armor. It's one of the OG armors, it is very old, but it still looks absolutely fantastic. What I like about it is that it fits pretty much every frame, it doesn't look weird on any of them, it looks great when you mix it with other armor sets, and the Prisma energy flowing through it looks really nice. And then he once again brought the atrocity that is Katir Kravat armor, just don't. Why would you do this to your cat? After that we have the Corrupted Heavy Gunner Spectre which just summons a Corrupted Heavy Gunner Spectre and is consumable so bear that in mind. Then we have the Sima as well as the Vez Luxum Ornaments which are a decoration for your landing craft so here is what they look like. Then we have the Katir Arrow Skin which is just a really cool looking arrow skin. The arrows look really great both when in a quiver and when fired from a bow and they leave a nice trail as they fly through the air. Moving on from there we have the Prisma Yamako Siandana which is a very dinky looking Siandana, but I must say for a dingy Siandana it still looks pretty nice. Then he once again brought the Mirage Immortal skin which will fit on both the standard Mirage as well as Mirage Prime and it is a very sort of Harley Quinn-esque jester-ish type Immortal skin and it's probably my favorite one of the bunch. Then we have a 3 day mod drop chance booster which will double the chance of you getting mods which is pretty good but it's also very expensive. After that we have the Katir Corner Diadem for when you want your operator to have a unicorn horn, so here's what changing the primary color will do. And here is what changing the secondary color will do. And the final item is as always the Sons of Inaros questline blueprint, which is the item you need if you want to get Inaros. Now as far as my recommendation this time around, just kind of buy whatever you want or skip, because when we look at the mods, we have the dual stat mods which are farmable from Spy and from Clone Arachnoids and Orbvales, we have Fanged Fusillade which is farmable from Hydralis, and we have the Stuns, Vermilion Storm, which is farmable from a bunch of Corpus units. The most enticing thing to buy for me personally would probably be the weapons because Prisma Grinlog is both fun and strong and Prisma Dual Cleavers are just really good. As I've said, they're basically like a template for a good melee weapon. So if I were to go for anything myself, it would probably be the weapons, though of course if you're sick and tired of farming Spy or the Hydralist or even Corpus, you can just buy the mods instead. But then again, this is just my personal recommendation, so if you want to go for the swag and cosmetics first, go right ahead. And that is pretty much it for battle this week, so I thank you very much for watching. As always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and it was helpful, and I will see you on Monday. Bye-bye.